Howdy folks, uh, this will be just a quick uh, little bit of a tip and instructions on what the z-axis controls in Probit for UCNC do and how they behave. Um, if you look at these controls, you've got a couple things that seem to make sense. You've got a clearance and a depth to go to, some buttons to send the probe up and down. Uh, you've got a checkbox that'll allow the probe to automatically raise and lower during probe routines but there is one catch it assumes you have already set and touched off the Z and uh, you've done some things to um, tell probe it where you are relative to your part and and you're keeping track of it so let's get started um, right now nothing is set um, so for these two parts, I have a couple of uh, one, two, three blocks and a parallel sitting on my table. Um, to get started, let's let's set the table to be Z0. I'm just going to come off over, jog into a clear spot. Um, so the Z surface value box, it's kind of the most interesting one. It's a dual function box. Um, before you've touched off, while the Z is not set, uh, you can set your work coordinate system to be any value you touch off at that you enter a number in here manually. So we're going to leave it at zero here. We're going to set, do the probe to set Z, and it's going to probe down. It's going to touch the table. And you can see our ZDRO reads 0.2 inches. We've touched off, and it reads 0.2 because it retracted to this clearance value that was set here. Now, I could tell it to move down, and that's going to error out because I was trying to go negative into the table and it could not. Um, so you get a little warning down here that says it hit on a clearance move. So um, for the most part, you're protected as long as this Z set is, is green. Uh, now to start probing our part, let's say I want to come up off the top. I don't want to change my coordinate system. I want all my measurements to be relative to the table being zero. So that now what I will do is I will probe to get a new Z. And what that's done is record the delta height of the part into the box. So now it knows that the top surface that I just touched on is 0.4868. And the Z is actually showing 0.6868 because it's 0.2 higher for the clearance move. So what this allows us to do is say I want to come down here. I'm hovering over the part. I haven't gone down. I can auto raise and lower, check that OK. I've got a depth set of negative 0.1. Now I can just, if I want to, probe the corner. And it automatically retracts. And if you look at the data we're collecting in our, our DXF data, we're, we're collecting it up at 0.468 instead of at Z0. <coughs> So now I can just come down here real quick. I can do another corner probe. I could do another one at the four corners, kind of define my part real quick. All right, so we've kind of defined the four corners of this parallel real quick. If I do a top view, you can see we've put all the four corners in. Now if I want to get all these bores real quick, the best thing I should do is to retouch off, get the new Z height, Now if I hover over each one, I'm already set up to go 100,000 below that surface. All I have to do is
And I uh, accidentally left it stuck in a diameter mode with 20 points to be recorded, so it's going to quick take 20 points around that diameter. There, so I'll uncheck this diameter mode. I'll slide over to the next hole. There we go. So we got our second hole. And you can see how uh, useful setting the Z height and using the auto raise and lower can be. So just remember, um, anytime you switch to a new surface, either uh, probe to get your new Z so that you tell probe it what your new height is, and that is used to be uh, the relative location for your clearance and depth moves. So then when you take your data and you look at it on the profile, you can see that uh, the corners were recorded based up off the top of the surface and then the holes were recorded based on the, the depth that that trough is at. So. Um, that's primarily the reason this Z surface value box exists, is to uh, allow recording of the Z height of features, even though your probe tip technically has to be above or below that surface uh, to record the data. So hope that makes sense a bit. Um, this was another probe at Quick Tip.